how to lose weight fast, efficient and on the most safest way. Losing weight, first of all, you need to understand you can do everyone. In this video, you will discover how the basics that even most of the personal trainers don't know. So if you want to test your personal trainer, ask him what you will discover in this video. No magic pill, no hard diets, just simple basic things. If you want to know it, in just five minutes, explain how easy and fast it is. Watch the video after the intro. Welcome back. So now we will break down exactly everything on this flip chart. How to lose weight, super efficient, super easy and super fast. It's totally easy if you understand the basics. The first question if you want to lose weight is you need to ask yourself how much weight you want to lose. How much kgs? This is the first question you should ask yourself before you start anything related to weight loss. How many kgs do you want to lose? And then you need to decide, look, how many per week, how many per month, and how many per year. Now, let me tell you one thing. If you say as so much as possible, that's exactly the problem. It's not possible to lose as much as possible weight. We can calculate it. It's scientific proven that you can calculate exactly how fast you can lose weight and you can track it to know exactly if you are on the right path, okay? So the first thing is you should say in a week, you want to lose one kilogram in a week. You want to lose what means in a week four, in a month four kg, and what means in a year 48 kg. So this is a lot. It's 48 kg in a year if you lose one kg in a week. What's four in a month? 48 in an entire year. That's a lot. And that's not really healthy. You can do that, but it's really very hard dieting and strong dieting. Let's say we go for 0.5, two a week. That's almost 24 in a full year. What's still good, right? So to do that, to lose two kilograms or 24 kg or a half kg a week, in order to do that, you need to understand following basic principle and to know exactly what means one kg of fat. What is one kg fat? And of course you heard about K cal calories. They're making fat and too much calories in all of these things. And all of that you will discover in this video now. So stick to me, stick to that video. One kg fat means exactly, and this is what you need to know, most people don't know that. 7,000 K calories. In one kg of fat are 7,000 K calories. This you should know first. Then you know that. Then you know exactly if I want to lose one kg, I need to burn 7,000 K calories in one week to lose one kg a week. What's that? And that's a little bit hard. So that's why I'm going to stick to that. 0 0.5. What's 24 kg in a year? Every, every month, 2 kg, that's good guys, it's more than enough. So that means we're gonna make half of that. Half of that means 3,500 k -cut. We have to lose to burn that, you know, in a week. So to be in a caloric deficit means that. That means how much energy you take in through food and how much you consume. So how much you take in should be less than you consume. Then you will lose weight, it's totally simple. 3,500 k -cut in a week means divided by seven, seven days. So that means it's exactly 500 kcal a day, right? So now here we are. Now you know what you need to do in order to reduce your body weight to burn fat. You need to lose, let's keep it here again, 500 kcal, okay? This 500 kcal, to lose every day. First, you need to know following thing. Focus. T D E T. Total daily energy expenditure. So that means how much energy your body consumes. You don't need to worry about that how much this and how to figure it out and how to calculate it and how it's exactly. 
I'm gonna explain you here how, totally simple, how you make it. Let's say your TDE is 2000, 2000 kcal. This is what you consume in a full day. So, in order to lose or to burn 500 calories, so that means you should eat only 1500 kcal. Okay, that's your intake. Because now you will be in a minus of 500. And that by seven days, it's a minus of 3500, but 0 0.5 kg fat lost. It's simple, it's just mathematics, it's science, it's working. That's all you need to know. Now, what about sport? Of course, if you do sport, that's gonna increase your TDDE because you burn calories, you know? So you can cons you consume more. So the difference will be higher. It will be minus 500 plus, maybe 600, 700. So you can boost it even to 1000 calories in a caloric deficit every day and lose even one kg a week. That's possible and realistic. So what you should know now that losing weight if you understand this basic principle, it's working for everyone, period. Everyone can lose weight. Now, let's see how you calculate your TDE, because I told you I'm gonna tell you how, because you don't know, it's a 2000, it's a 2500, and then you can choose a meal plan that we have on our website at Body Time. If you come visit our studios, you get it, or just get in touch with me, I give it to you. I give you a meal plan, even for free. I'm gonna help you. Now, let's say it's 2000, then you need a 1500 kcal plan every day. How we figure out how much we lose? Simple. We stick to a meal plan, let's say 2000 kcal for a full week. You stick to it. One week you eat always the same 2000 calories every single day. Then after one week you see what happens. Your weight, and you check your weight every single morning. After one week you see, is your weight the same, more or less? If it's more, you need to reduce. If it's the same, perfect. You found out your totally daily energy expenditure. If it is less, now you know that you can even increase it a little bit. So let's continue now how to plan the meals because this is what most of the clients of us and most people who wanna lose weight do wrong. You need to understand what means metabolism and need to understand that you need five meals every day. Let's say at least three to five. I'm gonna put here five meals, and this is the breakfast. It's, you must eat in the morning. Breakfast must be. It's no, no, no exception. You need to eat something in the breakfast. Next one is the snack. Then the lunch, a snack, and again a dinner. Always three hours in between, two to three hours. Let's say three. Okay, and now all of these meals, if you consume, let's say, uh, 2,500, you're a 100 kg person, consume 2,500, and to go for a 2,000 kg plan, then you, you need here 400, here 400, here 400, here 400, and here again 400, or let's say here 500, here 300, 500, 300, 500, also working. It's a total, the total should be 2,000 or if it's one five, in that case one five, so you can calculate and break down all your meals to a total of that. Now you think, oh, how I can eat so much. Guys, this is not a lot of food. Look, let's say, and this is my favorite, you eat wedges. One kg wedges, of wedges. You know how much calories that have? 200, it's a lot. So if you split your wedges here, in five meals, you have 250, 250, 250, 250, 250 here. And it doesn't make you fat. You are, you are shaking, you don't have enough energy. And now you can double it. You can go up to two kg of wedges. And you have 400 calories. And now what you can add is meat. Meat, try to be not too much fat, that you don't go over the calories. And you can calculate, okay, I take meat, let's say one kilogram meat, one kg meat, you can check chicken breast, beef, fish, which kind of meat you eat, should have around about 300, 400 calories, not more. Maybe even less, 200, depends on how much fat you have, okay? So one kilogram of meat of 200 
calories per 100 gram, that means you have 2,000 calories. It's a little bit too much, but who eats 1,000 calories? So you can reduce it to half. So that's how you make your calculation. And then we can go more deeper in explanations and explaining everything in detail in my motivated fit program that you can book on any of my websites and be found also in the link of this video in the description of the video, all the links to all my coaching programs. Just check the description with all the coaching programs. If you have any questions, ask me in the comment section below, okay? Guys, one more very, very important thing. This is what I'm teaching you here. Check your personal trainer if you know that. If you don't know that and cannot explain you that and you don't know these things, without this you cannot lose weight. Your personal trainer should tell you exactly this. Then you have a knowledge about how to lose weight because that's how it's working. Everyone can lose weight if follow these simple patterns. And of course, what's most important to help other people share this video with your friends. Show them also the same because then you can do it together. We always do things together like eating junk food together, drinking alcohol together, bad habits or good habits, doesn't matter. Mostly we like to do it together. That's human being. Share it. Share this video with your friends. It's so important. It's going to help you to level up your results. Okay? Let's continue with the last part. What's so important when you have your three to five meals. So you see, you can eat a lot and should be always veggies and meat. Okay? Then you will not go over your calorie consumption. But take care. Calculate always to be in a frame of 1,500, 2,000 or it depends on your T, D, E, E. Calculate it first or make the test one week on your own. If you want to know more about that, ask me in the comment section below. I'm happy to make more videos and to explain you everything in detail. Whatever you don't understand here now, because I try to keep it short. I said five minutes only, but you see, it's already more. And by the end, you need to know also one thing. You can add carbs here, but carbs are making you fat. You should cut them. Of course, here no carbs. Cut the carbs here. Cut the carbs here if you still still gain weight. You know, if you eat some rice, you will add to your veggies also. You have veggies, you have meat, and maybe you eat sometimes also rice or pasta or potatoes or however. It's not good, stick to rice. Um, brown rice, whole grain rice, of course. And then remove carbs here. Last meal, never have carbs before going to bed. Just fish and veggies, for example. Then here, remove carbs, remove carbs, remove carbs. It is necessary to remove carbs also here. Then just go for veggies, meat, veggies, meat, veggies, meat. You add 500 uh, gram meat here, like 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. It's more than enough protein. You have 20 gram, 20 gram, 20 gram, 20 gram, 20 gram, 100 gram protein per day with veggies. 1,200, 1,400 calories, you will lose weight. If you say you cannot eat five times, I'll tell you again one thing. Imagine you take a cucumber, cut it into five pieces, I need a small piece every three hours, starting in the morning. And morning breakfast, that's about the metabolism. I forget to explain it here earlier. Metabolism is important that your metabolism is working. You need breakfast. You need to eat all your meals. As more you eat, as more you push your metabolism working. No metabolism, no results. So push your metabolism with the meals and wedges are crazy because they are low in calories and make your digestion and metabolism so busy for kind of like zero calories, no energy. A lot of energy to digest and metabolize and zero energy in return that's gonna make you a fat burning machine veggies are so important and full of vitamins and that's why we come now to the last point why you don't need juices and fruits because they're full with sugars you don't need sugar too to supplement your vitamins what you need every day veggies have vitamins and now the last part is you need to drink water of course water and here is the mistake what many people do listen very carefully they drink calories because they drink soft drinks, they drink juices, they drink sodas. Water means zero kcal. So don't drink sugar, drink water. And you need three to four liters every day. That boosts your metabolism again. How much water you should drink is simple. If you, you can, rule of thumb, each 25 kg, body weight one liter. So if you are 100 kg, it's four liter. If you are a 75, it's three liters, it's simple. That's how it is. Number two, carbs. Reduce them and take care of fat. You eat meat and carbs also. Reduce the carbs, as I mentioned earlier. Cut them. Cut them. If you have your five meals, one, two, three, four, five, cut carbs, cut carbs, cut carbs, cut carbs, cut carbs. Take just veggies, protein, veggies, protein, veggies, protein. 
veggies protein veggies protein all day over 200 calories from veggies and 1000 calories 1000 from meat we have a 1001 kick out right now add some carbs here and here again here maybe 200 k cal additional we are 4000 that's how you calculate it you break it down and put them here you put some carbs okay if you put here also carbs and here also carbs and here also carbs of course you come over 2000 1500 or 2000 k cal or depends on your tdd how much you need and you are in a calorie surplus and gain what's happening all the time so cut carbs here cut carbs here cut carbs here cut carbs here and even the last meal in the morning if you are still gaining cut carbs this is what should go in your mind calculate it do it like this and if it's still not working listen that's why we are here to help you that's the last point don't worry about it it's totally simple number three it can be in some cases hormone problems okay but that can be fixed so easy you make a blood test you go to your doctor make a blood test and they give you exactly which hormones to test any comments comments below as i mentioned earlier if you like the video of course give me a like if you don't like a dislike and subscribe to my channel to get more of this information more updates i will make even a video about how to make money from this knowledge because people don't know it they need this information who of you guys who watch that can say oh i know everything about this no and that's the reason why you don't lose weight if you know all of these points what i mentioned here you will lose weight it's a little bit long what we are talking here now but that's how it works and if you do this you lose weight that's how it works now what you can do to make sure for you that this video works for you is just just watch it again from the beginning put it on hold a couple of times and make yourself notes make yourself notes about everything what it was talking to understand what means one kilogram fat how to break it down how to calculate it, how to prepare your meals how to put carbs veggies and protein in your meals how to do all of these things and as i told you if you want to see more about it my motivated fit program explains much more book an appointment at body time if you're in a city where we have body time then our experts can teach you there and that's it it's super simple and last but not least hormones you will see by your doctor if your hormone level is fine if not some supplements medication to regulate it and it will be fine everything can be fixed in this life and then you can start losing weight so if you don't lose weight till now still struggling losing weight don't give up you don't have the right information when you want to reach something your goal it's always one thing in between you and your goal you do the necessary things so there is no mistake you reach you don't do the necessary things you make mistakes you 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 stay on the same spot you know you don't move forward you don't come forward nothing changed you need to discover the problem as soon as you have the problem the solution for your problem you go your way that's it i hope you enjoyed this video talk soon to your success your coach Norman.